Hollywood pair Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis are the definition of couple goals, and their gorgeous farm-style home in the heart of Beverly Hills is definitely goals too. The two had their dream home featured in Architectural Digest this year, and it's a sustainable property they call Cuckoo Farms, with a main house, guest house, entertainment barn, and much more. Aside from their solar-powered and chic six-acre spread, Ashton and Mila still own a $10 million oceanfront retreat in Santa Barbara, and recently sold their longtime home in Coldwater Canyon for $10.4 million. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis are certainly a match made in heaven when it comes to Hollywood couples. Fans of that 70s show would agree that Jackie and Kelso in real life was just bound to happen someday. While these two have been Married since 2015 and share two kids together, they first met on the set of that fateful sitcom when Ashton and Mila were both teens. The pair remained good friends and, after each of them dated different partners and Ashton had a previous marriage, the couple reunited in 2012 at a party and the rest was history. Ashton and Mila are both actors but have definitely come a long way in their success since their early days of working in showbiz. In fact, Ashton is also a venture capitalist and has been involved with some of the most famed startups like Uber, Airbnb, Spotify, and more. His wife, the Ukraine-born Mila, is also steadily working on big projects like her long-running gig voicing Meg on Family Guy and appearing in plenty of films, with the two of them garnering a huge net worth. Most recently, this power couple impressed architecture lovers all over the reveal of their grounded but stunningly chic sustainable farm estate in LA. Ashton and Mila had the home custom designed from the ground up, and it's no wonder that they're super proud of this stylish space. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. In this one, checking out where Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis call home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher's current home is a custom farmhouse masterpiece. The couple spent five years to create their sustainable dream property in the heart of Los Angeles and showed it off to Architectural Digest in 2021 when it was complete. The sprawling six-acre property is located in Beverly Hills and boasts a main house that connects to a guest house and entertainment barn as well as a separate barbecue pavilion. Apparently, all of the structures are set upon a central axis to make the most of the views surrounding the property. Mila said, we wanted a home, not an estate. And Ashton added, we wanted the house to look like an old barn, something that had been here for decades. That was then converted into a house. But it also had to feel modern and relevant. The pair dubbed their home Cuckoo Farms, of course, taking it from both of their surnames. And it's designed with a French neoclassical inspiration throughout. Interiors offer plenty of reclaimed wood, floor-to-ceiling windows, as well as highlight pieces, such as the couple's 10-foot crystal chandelier, which anchors the entertainment barn and came with them from their former house. Mila said about this statement piece, we thought it would be funny to have this incredibly opulent thing hanging in a barn. It kind of takes the piss out of the property. And of course, it gives the rustic setting a modern twist. This is a theme which continues throughout the property. A set of silver throne chairs which Ashton commissioned on a trip to India were also important, much like the chandelier was to the design plans of the home. In fact, the couple's interior designer, Vicky Charles of Charles & Co explained, I got this job because I promised I could make a home for those, shall we say, formidable pieces. Ashton and Mila bought the Beverly Hills post office area property and then proceeded to demolish the barn turned house on on the land, getting to work on building their compound. They hired architect Howard Backen of Backen & Gillum Architects for the job as well. Aside from their interior designer, the couple had plenty of ideas themselves of how they wanted the house to look. They created detailed mood boards on Pinterest to help make their vision come to life. Ashton revealed, When we looked at each other's boards, 90% of the images we selected were the same, and most of the houses we pinned were designed by architect Howard Backen. Howard is like a great software 
software designer, someone who approaches design as an accentuation of function. Howard wants to get you where you want to be with the fewest doors and obstacles. A major bonus of the couple's contemporary farmhouse is that it's sustainable. Not only is it solar powered, other features that make it eco-friendly include the well on the property to irrigate the land, planted and harvested cornfield, agriculture primed soil, and more. The main house boasts a light natural wood wraparound porch as well as plenty of greenery, while out back, you'll find the barbecue pavilion and sparkling modern stone swimming pool. Inside the couple's home, the open living and dining room has a steep mansard roof along with a cozy fireplace, concrete walls, and oak flooring. One side of the space boasts a piano, an antique rug, as well as the large dining table with seating for 10. There's a hallway joining the main living area to the kitchen where we can also notice a bar on the way, and in the kitchen, there are designer pendant lights, a large island bar, and a breakfast table. Ashton and Mila really do love the way their custom farmhouse turned out though. And who could blame them? Ashton said, If the world around you isn't in order, it's hard to get your brain in order. When we're in our home, the world just makes sense. Elsewhere in the home, there's a gorgeous and plush master suite the couple shares, which has a lounge area in one corner with a window bench seat, as well as an armchair, and there's also a private terrace. In the master bath, you'll find those special chairs from India too near the standalone tub. There's also a study or office just off the master bedroom and another guest room, both stylish yet rustic bunk beds for kids. A romantic courtyard just off the house has views looking through the interiors and out to the panoramic hilltop views. As mentioned, the couple's crystal chandelier is the focal point of the entertainment barn, and there are also 19 foot tall glass sliders here, as well as a custom sofa. This barn also doubles as the property's guest house and offers at least two bedrooms and a bath. While Mila and Ashton spend most of their times at their Beverly Hills farmhouse, they also still own a vacation vacation retreat in Santa Barbara, so let's take a look at that place next. In 2017, it was reported that Ashton and Mila dropped $10.1 million in cash on this secluded beach retreat. Located in Carpentria, California, a small oceanside city in Santa Barbara County, it's an ideal spot for some peace and family time. This low-key and tiny town is about 80 miles northwest of Beverly Hills and directly south of Montecito, and while it's considered part of Santa Barbara, it's slower paced and offers more modest surroundings. Ashton and Mila's six bed, six bath beach house spans 3,100 square feet and is made up of two separate structures. There's a 2,000 plus square foot main house closer to the street and a one story, 1,000 square foot cottage overlooking the beach, while the property spans 0.71 acres of land. Inside the main house, wide plank, white oak floors, and lots of white paint make up the interior. Definitely appropriately beachy. The open kitchen and spacious dining area seem perfect for entertaining guests, but those bar stools certainly don't look too comfy. Elsewhere, a family room boasts blue couches for a pop of color and a fireplace with mounted TV. On the second floor, there's a large great room sporting a classic look with vaulted ceiling, TV, fireplace, and walls of glass opening to a balcony overlooking the grounds and ocean. Both structures in the property are styled almost identically, so it's hard to tell which rooms are in which house. Either way, the extra rooms are plentiful and the kids have a few to choose from. There are even bunk beds in some. Of course, there's also a master suite for Ashton and Mila to enjoy, complete with a large private porch of their own to relax on. Outside, a small estuary helps enclose the couple's home with a water barrier. There's also a charming fenced-in front yard. Like nearly all the other houses on the street, Mila and Ashton's spot has no swimming pool, but I guess there's no need when your backyard is the ocean, and they do have an above-ground hot tub. Finally, in early 2022, Mila and Ashton sold their longtime home, located in the Coldwater Canyon area of Beverly Hills, for $10.4 million. This was the first property the couple ever bought together and back in 2014, they spent $10.2 million to acquire it. The home built in 1999 sat in the gated community of Hidden Valley, an enclave full of celebrities, and the half acre property itself was also gated. Interiors offered 7,400 square feet of living space as well as five beds and six baths. 
There are plenty of common areas on the main floor, like the large living room with oak flooring, a fireplace, and French doors, as well as the nearby formal dining room. It was just a step up from here. The gourmet kitchen was decked out in a mostly white theme with both vintage and modern appliances, as well as a snack bar style island and breakfast area with built in booth seating. Other spaces included a family room with another fireplace, as well as a wet bar and wood paneled office with yet another fireplace. Upstairs, there was a master suite with double walk-in closets and luxury attached bath, as well as three of the ensuite guest rooms, while the lower level of the three-floor mansion offered a guest or staff bedroom too. Also on this lowest level of the house was a wine room, home gym, and sauna. Rounding out Ashton and Mila's former property, the grounds included a dining patio with outdoor kitchen and a stunning lagoon-style swimming pool with spa and even a grotto. Well, after looking at Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis's properties, including this home they sold earlier this year, as well as their vacation cottage and their custom LA farmhouse, we can see that the couple's design taste has changed over the years. It seems their current home that took them five years to bring to life is no doubt their dream property to raise their family. Well, that's gonna bring this house tour to an end. Let me know what you thought of their homes down in the comments, as well as who we should feature next on here. Thanks for watching, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!